Hey, how's it going and welcome back to the channel Skyrim and the Dragonborn DLC. Okay, we're still in Solstheim and we have just finished the quest Unearth, which gave us the Cyclone Word, the Dragon Mask Azadol's Mask, the Black Book Filaments and Filigree, and all six pieces of Azadol's Armour, all of which, as you're about to see, have particularly interesting enchantments. I'll be doing separate videos on the Black Book Filaments and Filigree and the two rings at a later date and I'll leave a link to the Unearthed quest at the end of this video and in the description. Okay so there's loads to go through and first up is Azadil's mask. Um, Azadil's unique enchantments on this mask is called Azadil's Rage and it grants bonuses to fire damage and resistance. Um, resist fire is 50%, augmenting flames by 25%. In addition, weapons that bear a fire damage enchantment are also boosted by 25%, as with many unique enchanted items. Azadel's mask cannot be disenchanted. Uh, the mask is useful uh, for fire mages due to its plus 25% fire damage, and for vampires due to its 50% fire resistance, which offsets their weakness to fire. Dunma can be uh, nearly immune to fire with resistance caps at 85%, providing them with great protection from flames. Like Zakrisos and Dukan, this mask increases the damage caused by Chaos Enchantment and can be combined with several other methods of uh, elemental damage boosting. Um, I'll be going into far more detail of that in another video. It can be upgraded with an ebony ingot as a workbench and also benefits from the Daedric Smithing Perk, which doubles as, as an improvement. Now, personally, I'm not into... Um, Dragon Mask myself, but this one actually is a good one. Now I'll be doing a more detailed look at the next two items in another video, but briefly, Azadol's Ring of Arcana. Wearing the ring grants two new destruction spells, Ignite and Freeze. The spells are only available if the ring is worn. Now apparently, followers wearing the ring can possibly be able to use the spells Ignite and Freeze even though they're not naturally spell casters. Now I can't confirm this and I will be checking out for the next video. Ignite causes a bolt of flame to shoot from the caster's hand after a momentary charging. The bolt sets the target on fire for 15 seconds, inflicting damage over time. Now the following excludes any enchanted clothing or item, uh, but just with perks. Apprentice destruction halves the cost of Ignite, Destruction dual casting allows the spell to be dual casted to overcharge it. Augmented flames increase the damage by 25% to 5 for the first level by 50% to 6 on second level. Aspects of Terror, the illusion perk, the damage per second increases to 14 per second if you also have the 2 out of 2 augmented flames. The damage can be as high as 21 damage per second for a total damage of 315 fire damage. And impact obviously staggers enemy if dual cast. Now you really do want that one if you're destruction mage, obviously. Now arguably with the aspect of terror, Ignite is probably the most damaging spell in the game for its magic cost. Um, capable of dealing 693 damage over, the, over 15 seconds if dual cast. It's awesome and you can rack it way higher than that as well uh, and I will show you that in the video. Now Freeze in my opinion isn't quite as, as uh, OP as Ignite um, but it's still a very effective spell. It's an apprentice level destruction spell. It fires out a projectile similar to an ice spike that deals damage and slows the enemy for 15 seconds. The slowing effect is roughly equal to that of a slowing poison. Uh, again the spell is only available if the ring is worn. As before, the following info excludes the wearing of any enchanted items, but just with the perks. Uh, Apprentice uh, Destruction halves the cost of uh, Freeze. Destruction Dual Casting allows the spell to be dual cast to overcharge it. Augmented Frost increases the damage by 25% uh, to 25 for the first level, by 50% to 30 on second level. Impact staggers the enemy if dual cast. Um, Deep Freeze paralyzes the target if the health is low. And these are two fantastic spells and most definitely worth getting. Okay, and the second ring, uh, which is Azadol's Ring of Necromancy, this will definitely uh, require a whole video on its own because uh, a whole build can be made around this. 
So, on to the actual armour set at last. Now, we'll start with Azdil's Armour of Retribution, which is the uh, chess piece of the set. It's got a base armour of 40, a weight of 38, and a value of 2,730. This armour is identical in appearance to the ancient Nord armour, uh, but provides 15 more points of protection and weighs 10 points more. Its enchantment gives you a 5% chance to paralyse enemies who strike you with a melee attack making dealing with multiple melee enemies much easier. The armour can be tempered with a steel ingot uh, with the advanced armour's perk doubling the improvement. This could be interesting if you combine it with the Whirlwind Cloak spell as shown in my other video. Uh, Azadel's Gauntlets of Warding, a uh, base arm of 14, a weight of 6, a value of 1750, these gauntlets are identical in appearance again to the ancient Nord gauntlets uh, but provide four more points of protection and weigh two points more. Their enchantment decreases the amount of damage blocked by your wards uh, by 25% but cause your wards to absorb half the magic of spells cast against you. These gauntlets can be tempered with the steel winglets with the advanced armors perk uh, doubling the improvement. Definitely a niche enchantment but could prove fantastic for pure mage builds. Um, I've never used them myself and would love to hear from someone uh, that's actually used them in their uh, build. Uh, next up is um, Azadel's Helm of Vision, a base arm of 19, weight of 6, a value of 1250. Um, now this helmet again is identical to the ancient Nord uh, helmets um, but provides four more points of protection and weighs two points more. Its enchantment increases the magic cost of your Conjuration and Ruse spells by 25% but allows them to be cast further away. It can be tempered with a steel ingot with the advanced armor's perk doubling the improvement. This can be extremely useful for builds that use Conjuration and Archery for example. You can fire in your action axe um, from distance uh, to tank uh, any damage and occupy your enemies whilst you keep your distance and pick off your enemies um, and it's great for laying traps etc. Oh, there's many many uses you can use the helmet for. Uh, next is the item that I really came for um, which is Azadil's Boots of Water Walking. Uh, the base armour is 14, the weight is 9, the value is 1125. Now the boots give you two enchantments. The first is water walking. Now this unique enchantment grants the ability to walk on the surface of water. This is often used for crossing uh, large bodies of water without having to swim and can often allow for unexpected movement options. Um, there are only three methods of obtaining the water walking ability. Um, that's Azadel's boots of water walking, obviously, a potion of water walking and becoming a vampire lord. These boots also allow you to walk on the tarlite liquid in Apocrypha as well uh, as the lava in the Ethereum Forge. Uh, though I haven't tested this out, so if, if you do get them and, and use it, uh, make sure you quick save before you try it. Um, second, uh, secondly, and for me most importantly, is the Fortify Enchanting plus 10 points. Now, wearing exactly four pieces of Azadel's set, will net you plus 10 in your enchanting skill. Wearing five pieces or three pieces or six pieces will not give you the bonus. And you have to wear the boots to get this bonus. So you can wear the, the helmet, the armor, the boots and the braces, for example, uh, to gain the enchanting skill. Um, also, the by the way, the Azadol's um, Priest Mask counts as part of the set. Uh, the effect is called Azadil's Genius and can be seen in your effect, active effects list. Um, this does not boost items that are already enchanted, only items that you enchant whilst wearing the gear. And also remember this can be uh, used in conjunction with other bonuses for enchanting, um, such as the uh, Seeker of Sorcery ability, which increases enchanting by, again, another 10%. Uh, and is granted by the Black Book uh, Salo Regent found in White Ridge Barrow. And if you haven't uh, found that yet, uh, see one of my previous videos. Anyway, I'll be going into more into the uh, extra, like uh, enchanting smithing, alchemy uh, effects when I actually do my uh, end game armor video, which hopefully I'll be bringing out uh, over the next few weeks. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video uh, and uh, I really hope you found it useful. See you later. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like, leave a comment 
and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.